Good evening. This is still Professor Layton and the Curious Village on Nintendo DS, and this is part three of my blind playthrough of this. Let's continue, shall we? <coughs> no matter how I try, I just can't seem to find that special someone. Tell me, Professor, what does an eligible bachelor like myself have to do to find a girl? I had an epiphany the other day. I think the reason I'm alone is because I can't solve this puzzle. No, oh, how I've tried to solve it, but no matter how many nights I spend pondering it, the answer eludes me. Please help me, Professor. I don't want to spend the rest of my life talking to my stuffed animals. Too much information. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is puzzle number 12 that I could not get earlier. Okay, so they don't necessarily become accessible in the game in the order that they come in, uh, in the list, I suppose. Okay, so... um. In order to cut the piece of paper shown in diagram 1 into two pieces and reassemble them to form a rectangle, all you have to do is cut the paper as shown in diagram 2. However, in order to assemble the pieces as shown in diagram 2, you need to flip one of the pieces before putting them together. Where should you cut the paper if you want to turn the paper in diagram 1 into a rectangle without flipping either of your two pieces? here if you what where should you cut the paper if you want to turn the paper into diagram one into a rectangle without flipping either of your pieces I don't get it. I, I don't understand what they what, what they want. In order to assemble the pieces as shown in diagram 2, you need to flip one of the pieces. Yeah. That's what I'm doing here, basically. Okay, yeah, I think I have it. Yeah, I think I, I understand now what they want exactly. Um... <coughs> I can only cut it once, though. Mm. I'm not sure I understand. Uh, I mean, I think I understand the question, but... It says, without flipping either of your pieces. The example shape that the puzzle shows you, Diagram 2, isn't at all indicative of the shape you're looking for. Think about a completely different shape you'd like to try. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a rectangle that's 3x5. Hmm... That bit, that's, that, that, that's, uh, yeah, I, c I can't really show it. Right to the left of this one, I I it's really annoying. It gets in the way. has a total area of 15 squares. Since you're trying to assemble a rectangle, the only dimensions possible are 3 by 5 squares and 5 by 3. Yeah, that makes sense. 
If I want to make it 5 by 3 Well, actually, no, because if it was 2 by 5 or even 1 by, uh... No, wait, no, it's 15, they say. Yeah, okay, no, no, never mind. I'm trying to imagine how to do just one cut to be able to to make a 3x5 rectangle. Basically the one on the right but flipped 90 degrees, but I just can't see it. Look for a piece that can help you complete a rectangle that's 5 squares tall. Now that you know the height of your rectangle, you should be able to narrow down your options a little. That's already what I was trying to do, but that's not helping me there. I don't know. That's to, to, to make it the way that it is on the right. That, so that can't be it. I'm just trying randomly because... I'm there just hoping that the answer is gonna jump jump at my face or something. I'm gonna quit it because I I can't. Uh, you mustn't give up on me <laughs> like that. My happiness, nay, my entire legacy hinges on you solving this puzzle. Yeah, right. Well, I guess you're gonna remain single for a while because right now I just can't figure it out. <laughs> uh, oops. Sorry. Inspector Chelmi and my lady. Hi, Dobby! Inspector Chelmi and my lady have already retired for the night. Ramon is likely off to the cafe. You've had a very hard day, Professor. Do you try and get some rest? Good night, sir. Ah, yes. Uh, yeah, yesterday I had to go back to the inn. I wonder if we really did just. If we really did just mistake what we saw in the street. No, I'm certain that it was Ramon. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, you're welcome. And unfortunately, your stream was not at the time at which I was awake, so I could not catch it, I'm afraid. <laughs> when we saw him, there wasn't the slightest hint of life in him. He may have lost consciousness, but how odd, how odd that he should return healthy as can be an hour later. Stranger still is the fact that he seems to have no memory of what we saw happen to him. So peculiar. Plus, Ramon isn't wasn't even the first. Lots of people seem to have had the same experience. Any other village would be in a panic over something like this, but Saint Mister, you couldn't make the stream yesterday. Oh, I th I thought you did stream, but just when I wasn't awake. But okay, <laughs> I thought I missed it. 
purely and simply. Well, it's peculiar, that's all. There is something very peculiar about this whole village. Yes, in most places no one would stand for this, but we've seen that Saint Mystere is anything but normal. Ah, well, they moved the puzzle that I could not solve. Good morning! Ah, pardon me. It's not working? From the Elgato? What do you mean? Yes, yes, don't you worry. I'll let him know. Oh, hello there. There was a phone call for you. It was from an Inspector Chell something or other. From Inspector Chell me? He just kept saying that it was urgent and that you should meet him at Reinhold Manor at once. He probably wants to talk about what happened yesterday. Maybe so. We don't know until... We won't know until we get there, though. Come, Luke. Puzzle lady? Do you have a puzzle for me? There you are, Professor. Would you help a girl out? I've got something here I'd like you to look at. I made this darling sandwich for my special lunch box, but the silly thing is too big. <laughs> yeah, it's another matter of fitting something in a tight space. The Elgato was too laggy to stream? Oh. It might be your CPU. You you might want to try maybe to lower the frame rate, maybe to 30 frames per second. Because that would cut in half the demand for the CPU. And maybe try to use a faster preset for the, the encoder. See if that works better. It's a bit of a shame if you bought an Elgato and you just can't get it to work with your current PC. If there's something that can be done to help solve this, <laughs> eating leftovers from your breakfast, you managed, you've managed to cobble together a rather oddly shaped sandwich. How many times must you cut the sandwich in order to make it fit neatly in the container? Uh, matter of size but one two three four five squares and the box is four squares uh, uh, wide it still doesn't work oh well I I do know that encoding video can be a bit demanding if you don't have a GPU that supports hardware encoding because I am in that case too and I I'm almost limited by, by, by my laptop. Well, I am limited in some ways, but I can still get it to work to some extent. <laughs> but I can't do with my laptop everything that I'd like to be able to do for my stream, for example. So I can understand the problem, at least. <sighs> How many times do you have to cut it? Have you thought of turning the sandwich to get a fresh perspective on the puzzle? It may sound slightly curious, but if you do it right, you might be surprised at how everything comes together. Mm. It's also longer, it seems. Yeah, it's like one square, uh... You're returning it and getting a GoPro? Oh. What, you're just gonna... F film the, the, the screen as you're playing, maybe, or something like that? I mean, it's another way to do it. You 
you won't have much success solving this puzzle if you, all you are doing is looking at the image provided. Try rotating the sandwich 90 degrees to the left or right. That's what I've been doing, but... <laughs> Ah. Uh. What, like that? Oh, yeah, I guess it works. Yeah, if you cut it right there, this little piece here is gonna go there, and this little piece here is gonna go there if you flip it. And then it would fit, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, okay. How many times must you cut the sandwich? Only once. Well, cut it in two. Also, I will be able to stream when traveling. Yeah, that's another possibility as well, yeah. Critical thinking is the key to success. That is indeed the case. Ah, yeah, there we go, yeah. Hmm. Oh, Professor, you're just the cleverest. Thanks for helping me work this out. I needed a hint, though. Simple chair, where will it go? Mm. I don't have to start looking for coins again, do I? I mean, it's the same location, just... gonna try it anyway just to be sure yeah oh they, they put more hint coins the the, the 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 next day I mean I'm glad they're giving them to me but or was it one that I overlooked before I will still use the HyperX since it's so nice looking. And if it's a good mic and you get good quality sound out of it, yeah. Well, I can lo lo look up a, a picture of it because if, if it's called simply HyperX, uh, I shouldn't have too much trouble finding it. <laughs> Looks like you fellows are getting used to Saint Mystere. But stay sharp. Believe you me, you'll be buried in all sorts of difficult puzzles before you can shout Stash and Scarfin. <laughs> By now, I'm sure you've realized that you can retry the puzzles you failed to solve, eh? However, have you noticed how some puzzles just seem to vanish before you can get back to them? That's right, you see, that's the way it is with some things in life. Once they're gone, they're gone. For good, but rest at ease, you two. Those puzzles you thought had vanished have merely moved elsewhere. You must seek out Granny Riddleton's shack. Yeah, you already explained that. I already know that. Ah, oh, he has a puzzle. Uh, just a second. <clears throat> just keep talking through my nose. It's a lot of money, but it's really good for the price of one ninety nine. Yeah. I mean, for that price, you would hope that it would give you good quality. The local museum has an exhibit that spans nine rooms, as shown in the diagram below. The entrance to the complex is marked with marked A, and the exit is marked B. The security guard on duty is a bit lazy and wants to walk each room from the exhibit while turning as few times as possible. What is the fewest number of turns he can make while visiting while still visiting every room? As an example, the diagram below shows a course that involves six turns. Mm. As few times as possible, they say. Does he have to go from A to B? Mm. 
Because I was gonna have him go like this. No turn. First turn here. Second turn here. Three, four, five, six. But that's exactly the same. It's just the same as the, the example, but reversed. If I didn't say this already, you really are my favorite streamer on Twitch. Thanks, Dobby. <laughs> Thanks, that's very much appreciated. Is your dog still watching with you and still reacting every time your name gets heard on on stream? <laughs> oh man. One, two, three, four, five. Well, first off, ignore the sample path shown on the screen. Here's an additional hint for you. Nowhere within the problem does it say the guard can only enter each room once. It's okay for your path to move back through a previously visited room. Well, that, I would have appreciated it. I would have appreciated knowing that straight off. Jeez. Let's say one turn, two turn, four turn, five turns. Go back. That would be five. I would avoid making a turn as soon as I enter. Two, three, four, five, six. No, that's the, that's the same thing. I can sh I can do it with five. He sometimes tries to kiss you, but instead licks the iPad screen. <laughs> oh man. Five. Is it less than five? Six. I can I can make it with five. That's the least I can find. Luke, here's my answer. There's only so many possibilities, so that would be four then? If you meet him in real life, he's very friendly. Well, I have... I don't know if it's luck or if it's just b b me or something, but uh, usually animals like me, so... <laughs> well, it's not turning. I mean, if he goes in reverse, is it? But I'm gonna try four. I'm cheating, but uh, I don't have the answer. But I don't see how. Luke, here's my answer. Fewer than that. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Or is it impossible? To... But no, I just I just made it in five. Is it just me, or are they becoming? A lot harder. <laughs> Luke, here's my answer. Ah, I suppose I thought wrong. It can't be in two. That's impossible. Is it six then? I feel I don't feel smart for just inputting every answer like that, but frankly, I'm ashamed. Oh. I 
Unless he already starts in uh, five. No, he, no, he, d he does turn in it in A. Security guard on duty is a bit lazy and wants to walk each room with the exhibit while turning as few times as possible. What is the fewest number of turns he can make while still visiting every room? As an example, the diagram below shows a, a course that involves six turns. Yeah, but you caught it on YouTube though, didn't you? The Captain Rainbow one. As the layout of the rooms and the sample path shown made you feel like all your turns need to be 60 degrees, this puzzle wants you to find the solution with the fewest number of turns. This means that movement will always be in a straight line, but the angle of any given turn is up to you. Uh, what, that means you can go that way? Uh, it could be done by turning only twice, then that way. Luke I would have appreciated having that information to begin with. I was wondering how can I chat with him, success. not knowing it was on Twitch. Uh, well, when I, when I put TSA in the title of one of my streams, it's like it stands for Twitch, tr Twitch Stream Archive, but... I can't spell it out in 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 whole uh, in letters, in, in whole words, unfortunately, because otherwise I run out of space in the titles on YouTube. So that's why I usually do it that way. Now that's what I like to see. Seems the training I've been giving you has paid off. Yeah, yeah right. Luke, we must head to the manor now. We mustn't keep Inspector Chelmy waiting. You're right, Professor. Ah. I thought it meant you were blindly playing when I saw it. Okay. Uh. Still no luck finding the villain? With an odd world, what an odd world we live in. Well, you know what they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Speaking of fiction, I just thought up this little gem. Please give me your honest feedback on it. Let it be easy, please. <laughs> Several rectangular sheets of transparent film are arranged on top of each other. As shown, the lines represent areas where one sheet overlaps with another. At the thickest point of this pile, how many sheets are overlapping? Mm-hmm. Let's see, here there's only one, here there's only one, here there's two, one, one. Here I'd say there's three, here there's four. At least five, I'd say. Mm. This one right here, uh, yeah, it's complicated, that thing. One. Eh, uh, five or six, I'd say. Gonna try five. That should do it. Okay. I got I got it correct from the start. I couldn't I couldn't s find the spot where there were more than five, but it it, it is kind of hard to see. The Captain Rainbow stream I watched was what helped me get through the summer, and every day I would watch it. Ah, oh. well I'm glad that that could help. <laughs> Beautiful work, but I think the puzzles I write into my next novel will be even harder than that one. If you have time, stop by later. I'm sure to have a naturally fascinating puzzle prepared for you by then. I think I've got all the pieces of the gizmo. Uh, 
Ah, no, I'm still missing an ear. Ah, okay. One more. What about that guy? Hey, Professor. Looking busy as usual, I see. Oh, I've got this puzzle I just can't work out on my own here. Can you lend me your thinking cap? I found it funny how you made little Mac a stick man. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> Below are six linked rings. They may look like a tangled mess, but there is one ring that, if cut away, would leave the remaining five rings connected end to end in a long chain. Which one must you cut in order to make the chain? Choose an answer from below. Uh. I'd say C. Because C isn't connected to F at all. A is connected to B, B is connected to D, D to E, and E to F. But C isn't connected to anything. Oh yeah, it, it is a funny go. scene, yeah. <laughs> no? Frankly, I'm ashamed. What the heck? Or is it F? I guess F isn't connected to C, but it's connected to E. C is connected to both E and B. A is connected to both B and D at the same time, isn't it? If I removed B, what I find annoying is that C and F are both connected to E, and only E, aren't they? I know, C is connected to B as well. Ah. The way I see it, it has to be C, F, or E. It helps to think about how a chain is formed. To make a chain, you need one ring on each end. Each ring between these two hand rings will be connected to two other rings. If any of the rings are connected to three or more other rings, there is no way a chain can form. Well, B is connected to C. It's not connected to E. It's connected to D. Ah, oh, maybe it's B then. Because it is connected to three. There we go. No. Ah! Oh, how embarrassing. I don't like these puzzles that are on only visual. Well, it's not C and it's not B. Uh, that means C and B have to be part of the chain. But F isn't connected to C at all. I don't know, E. I'm <laughs> I'll, end up ev I'll end up having tried every possible solution, and I won't have found, found out by myself the reason why it is the way, the way it is. I 
I don't see how it could form a chain if it's not C, B, or E. Because it already seems like E is connected. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Admittedly, E, e is not connected to B. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is frustrating. Yeah. Well, it's frustrating me. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, I don't know. D. <laughs> nah, I'm. I'm gonna Who find it eventually. But I. Okay, show me how. Critical thinking is the key to success. Well, I doubt that somehow. <laughs> Yeah, C is connected to both E and B. <sighs> yeah, I guess it makes sense in no way. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Well, I, I could not see it. I just couldn't see it. I feel bad about it, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, the books go to Luke. Mm. Well, that's towards the manor. Yeah, they're gonna stop me from going there. Yeah, but that one I can't solve it. It's just too complicated. She doesn't have a puzzle for me, does she? Nah, she's only there to tell you about the cottage that houses the puzzles. Critical thinking is not the way t is not the way to correct it. <laughs> hey there, professor. I bet you're here to solve my puzzle. I'm right, aren't I? Yeah, of course I'm right. Ah, 50 pika rats. Might not be that easy. Two boys are playing a game at which the goal is to take the longest route possible from point A to point B, as shown on the map below. The only rule is that no section of road can be traversed more than once. What course should they take in order to cover the longest distance possible between point A and point B? How does that look? Mm. Now nah, that doesn't look nearly as long that way. The longest distance. Or like this. Well, I'm going to come up with a sol with a way to calculate how much there is left. In the end, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just say that here there are nine units of distance left. Here there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 units of distance left. That's not correct. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'd be leaving huge, ch huge chunks if I was doing it that way. Although, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be eight, that one. How did I do it last time? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go with that one. Which seemed the longest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna try that way. The Elgato logo is on my mic, and so is the Nintendo logo. Oh, sorry, I didn't see your message straight away. <laughs> Frankly, I'm ashamed. You put the Elgato logo on it. Give it another shot. As a general rule, you should try to cover as many of the roads as possible. Duh! In the example above, it appears that the boy who walked the green path covered quite a bit of distance. However, as shown by the dotted lines, the road this boy passed up on his way to point B had up to quite a distance. Well, I counted eight. Eight uh, bi bits of road left over. With one being equal to this. Let's put it that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's that's even worse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now nah, that's worse than what I suggested earlier, and uh, I don't know if it's my brain that doesn't have uh, the, what it takes today, but the solution doesn't jump out at me like it did in in, in yesterday's stream. I felt like I was making better progress on, on yesterday. Uh, now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How about like this? One, two, three, four, five. Five bits of roads. Oh, uh, no, that's a bit more than that, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it's already better than what I did earlier. Luke, here's my answer. Ah, okay. Another puzzle solved. Nice work. Speaking of leisurely strolls, have you been outside today? If it's sunny, why not go for a nice walk? It was not sunny. <laughs> Great job there, Professor. Even that puzzle didn't phase you, huh? Of course not. Yeah, it yeah, actually did. <laughs> yep, you're a real piece of work, Prof. You know that. Of course you do. You're a scholar, after all. Painting scrap. Yeah, actually, let me have a look at that painting, because it's coming along nicely now. That seems correct enough to me. Still missing quite a few pieces, though. Yeah, by the way, are there new coins? I think there are.
or maybe there aren't there aren't a lot of new coins. Maybe it's not three f starting from a certain point in the game. Or maybe it's just that I've been using them so much, so, so much that uh, it is sunny in Oregon. It's been sunny here these past few days, but starting from today, it's it started raining again. It was cold too, but while it was uh, sunny, looks like a scrap of notepaper. What does it say, Luke? Well, let's see here. Ahem. It's just terrible. Lady Viola has an awful case of the flu and hasn't left her bed for days. I'm no doctor, so I can't think of any way to help her. Oh, what to do? What to do? Lady Viola. Oh, the sentry must be talking about Bar Baron Reinhold's first wife. My heart is heavy as I write these words. The loss of his wife has completely crushed the boss. If only there was something I could do to help. He walks around looking like he's had the wind knocked out of him. And that's the end. Gosh, whoever wrote this must have cared an awful lot for the Baron and his family. Hmm. Any coins in here? Nah. Well, there might be new coins in here, come to think of it. Hmm? Is that a hidden puzzle? Those sweets look absolutely scrumptious, don't they? Look, those sweets just gave me a splendid idea for a puzzle. Have a listen to this. Oh, okay, well, there was a hidden puzzle there. Or maybe not so hidden, after all. <laughs> you have ten jars filled with 50 sweets, e sweets each. You then pour the sweets into, a sm into small bags and attempt to get half a jar in each bag. Now you have 20 bags of sweets. What is the percentage likelihood that there are an average of 25 sweets in each bag? <sighs> 10 jars with 50 sweets each. That's 500 sweets. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that, that that's 500, yeah. Well, the likelihood of an average of 25 sweets in each bag is 100%. It's a trick question again. The average will, al will always be 25. If the number of bags is set and the number of sweets is set, then the average will always be the same. It doesn't matter how it turns out to be in inside the bags. You had 50 sweets in 10 jars, giving you a total of 500. You divided 500 sweets into 20 bags. So of course, the mathematical average of this will be 25 sweets a bag. Uh, I'm glad I found it immediately, that one. <laughs> Makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Just a little. <laughs> there we are. Once you discern what the question is saying, the problem is a rather simple one, isn't it? I think that might be the last part of that dog dog robot what is it missing ah nothing I guess there we are the little robot dog is finally assembled now we now we just have to name the rascal I have a feeling it'll come in quite handy by the way Luke I have a present for you to mark this occasion turn off your Nintendo DS system once then restart the game and the title screen Select bonuses and you should have a new challenge from me. Now I know you're excited, but be sure to save before you restart your DS system. Latest challenges, the inventor's house has been added to your map. Ah, okay. What's the name of your dog then, Dobby? Let's name him, name him after your dog then. gonna grab some water so what, sh what should we name him or it more like
What should we what should we go with? Dobby? Ah, simply Dobby? Okay. There we go. Leads. Okay. I'm gonna save and try to reset the game then. See what that does on the title screen since he says that uh, that unlocked something. Bonuses. Weekly puzzle. Oh yeah, I remember that actually. That that was something that you could access before. I think you can't anymore though. Yeah, download puzzles. Wi-Fi settings. Uh, it's not gonna crash the game if I try that, right? Oh no, actually I can. Yeah, but yeah, I'm not about to give my uh, internet code and, and everything or password uh, on stream though. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do that. Inventor's house, puzzle 121, the diamond and the flag. Oh, there are extra puzzles? Do give this puzzle a try. Oh, there are extra puzzles, okay. Diamond and the flag. Below is a diagram of a flag from the measurements shown on the diagram. Can you calculate fra fra what fraction of the flag's total area is represented by the diamond in the middle? Your answer will be the denominator of a fraction in one out of X form. Don't think too hard about this one. The answer is actually easy enough to work out in your head. Mm. Okay. We have a flag that is 80 centimeters times 120 centimeters. The total surface would be uh, 960 centimeter, if I calculate this right. Hold on. No, what, what, what did I do? No, that's not correct. Now, nah, hold on. Mm. 80 times 120 equals... 8,000 There, I think that's it It won't work for me anyways <laughs> No, but I, I I don't even know if they would still be accessible today I think I think they've taken down the service for the original DS, so... The Nintendo Wi-Fi connection service is, uh, is over. I think you can't download those anymore. Those extra puzzles, so... Uh, yeah, the total surface, I think it's correct. I'm gonna use a calculator, that's gonna be easier, but... <laughs> But I think I'm right about this. Okay, eight. No. Uh, Eighty times one hundred and twenty. No, that's not correct. So we have 9600 is the total surface. The surface of the of the blue section in the middle is equal to Oh, 
So that's uh Okay. So now I have to calculate 9600 divided by 1200. Eight. One eighth. Also, if your Wi Fi. Well, isn't your Wi Fi not going to work if international? I did it. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I mean. It's just out of principle, more, more like uh, a, a genuine concern. <laughs> Because I might be using that code for other things, for example. So, <laughs> if it's something that's that's supposed to remain secret, <laughs> splendid solving. Of course, I expected nothing less from you. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna back out of this and just continue with the story. I just wanted to uh, make sure I, I understood what that was about. Okay. Okay. Did they put new coins in here? Uh, maybe. Why did the dog appear there? The garden's big, but there's not much to look at here. Why did he appear there all of a sudden? I thought he would be appear to uh, to tell me when it when he spotted something secret, but leads. Two. <laughs> what if it isn't Claudia out and about? <laughs> and that reminds me of a puzzle. Give it a try, my boy. Ah, oh, okay. Puzzle 60, weighing cats. There are three different colors of toy cat, each, each color having a different weight. Examples 1 and 2 show their relative weights. You have three red cats and four black cats on one side of the scale, and four white cats and one black cat on the other, and given the setup, what will the scale do? A. Tip left. B. Stay level. C. Tip right. Let's say the whites are uh, yeah, I are equal five in weight. Okay, I'm gonna write it down here since I can't write it down on the touch screen here. White equals five. Black equals four. That would that would solve the equation one. Would that work for the other one there? Four plus four plus five. That would be thirteen, which can't be divided by three to to give you a an integer value for the red ones. So that can't work. That uh, the, the, that can't be. Um, or is it that the whites are equal ten each? Is that possible? And the blacks would be equal 8. So that would give you 8 plus 8 plus 10. That would be 26. That can't be divided by 3. Jeez. Uh, I'm 
Okay, uh, let's say, I don't know, uh, the blacks are equal 12. So that would be 12 plus 12 plus 15 equals 39. That can be divided by 3, and the reds would be equal 12 in that, uh, 13 in that case. Okay, let's try with those values. Black equals 12, red equals 13, white equals 15. So on the balance on the left, we've got 3 times 13 plus 4 times 12 should be equal to 4 times 15 plus 1 times 12. Is that correct? So we have 39 plus 48 equals 60 plus 12. 72. Nah, that, 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 doesn't, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Oh, no! Hey, wait, no! No, not necessarily. It doesn't have to be equal. It's asking me which way it's gonna tip. If I have figured out the values... ...then it would tip left. If I figured the values well, out right... Here's my guess. I think the whites are equal 15, the blacks 12, and the reds 13. Uh, it's not giving you the values? If you replace the red cats on the left with the equivalent weight of black and white cats, and the white cats on the right with the equivalent weight of black cats, this puzzle becomes much simpler. Once you make the replacement, you'll have six black cats on the right. I don't understand their explanation, but it made sense in my head. Okay, move along. <laughs> Once you realize how you need to look at things, it's not a terribly difficult problem now, is it? <laughs> you got a painting scrap. At least it made sense in my head. <laughs> ah! Ah, uh, no. It doesn't work that way. Ah, uh, like this. Okay. Is it possible that I put the picture upside down? Hmm. I can't see... Oh no, actually it might be a person. Sitting in a chair or something. Yeah, that might be correct. Okay. Okay. Are you trying to poison me? What are these vile things? You oaf, some butler you are. I, I'm so sorry, sir. What's happened? I detest cakes. The very sight of them turns my stomach. Get that plate out of here at once. Oh, yes, but of course. Poor guy. Hmm. Ah, Leighton, there you are. You requested our presence, Inspector Chelmy. My sources tell me you've been out snooping about and interfering in my case. Just what are you up to? It certainly wasn't my intention to interfere in your case. However, a few things don't make sense. Leave the investigating to the police and go chase after that golden apple or whatever it is. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. I'll find Simon's killer. Of that, you can be sure. Hmm. Now, unless you have something else to say, I've got work to do here. Understood. Good day, sir. Well, he doesn't want us investigating, so... That inspector has some nerve, dismissing us like that. Like I said before, I don't like him one bit. Hmm. What do you say we ask Ramon about yesterday, Luke? I wasn't quite done here. 
Oh, Professor, how fortunate that you're here at a time like this. I have a favor to ask of you. Solve this puzzle for me. I'm happy to come to your aid in any way I can. Thank you, Professor. Could you solve this puzzle for me? Though I'm not feeling up to the challenge, it won't solve itself. <laughs> Figures. A father and son are having a conversation. The father turns to the son and says, You know, son, there was a time when I was twice the age of your mother. Of course, the next year, I was only... One and a half times her age, but still, that's pretty amazing, eh? If the father has is 44 years old, how old is the mother? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure he must be talking about when they were kids. Or something like that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. If he was, uh, if the mother was two when he was four... And then when he was three, it, was, it would have been one and a half times? Nah, that's not correct. With one and two. He was twice the age. Yeah, that fits. If there's only a, a one and a half, uh, a one year age difference between the two of them. With those numbers, it fits. Because that's uh, times 2 here, and here it's times uh, 1.5. Yeah, that makes sense. There's only one year of difference between the two. Puzzle solved. That's right, the mother is 43 years old. When the boy's father was 2 years old, his mother was 1. The next year, he turned 3 and she turned 2. When you realize this is the only combination of ages that yields the ratios mentioned in the puzzle, everything starts to make sense. But I instinctively thought that it had to be really small numbers for uh, if you make plus 1 and it becomes uh, 1.5 times the, the age or something like that, I figured it had to be really small numbers. What a relief, I can finally stop thinking about that silly puzzle. You have my thanks. What about Fat Man? Oh, Professor, you just simply have to help me. I've got another puzzle in my hands I just can't solve. Yeah, right, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Pinboard shapes. The cross shape in the pin board below has 9 pins inside it and 16 outside it. Remember that example? Because now it's your turn to construct the shape on the board. Can you create a cross that has 17 pins inside it and 16 outside it? Wait, what? A cross? Feel free to make your cross any size you like. Mm. That's not really a cross, is it? <laughs> and there is not six... Uh, yeah, there aren't 16 outside. A cross that has 17 pins inside it? How is that possible? There's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, okay, there's 49 pins. Yeah, I was gonna say there aren't enough pins, but no, nah, no, it works. It works. Mm. How could that work?
How many do we have here? Uh, three plus... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, no, that, that, that doesn't work. Uh... Here we have uh, eight plus. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Ah. <sighs> How about now? 6, 10, 13, 15. Uh, we, I only have 15 that way. And inside, I have way less than I'm what I'm supposed to have. A, a hint might be nice. The original cross in this problem is composed of 24 pins. The board contains a total of 49 pins. Subtract the 16 pins on the outside and the 17 on the inside and you get 16. The number of pins that will make up your cross. 16? not really a cross then if I do it that way <laughs> uh, yeah plus it pl plus it doesn't work with the numbers I'm supposed to be working with yeah it makes sense it's a good explanation actually that hint was pretty good That's not really a cross either. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say maybe if you rotate it. Because it doesn't say that the cross has to be rotated uh, like upright could be rotated 45 degrees and, and that would still work I suppose see kind of like that but well actually Would that work? Uh, actually, I think it does. It seems to be working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Or is it fifteen that I have outs uh, outside? No, no, I've got sixteen outside. Does it have seven, seventeen inside? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That should do it. Critical thinking is the key. To I feel success. a bit better about myself. <laughs> That's right. This puzzle is easy once you work out that the cross needs to be placed diagonally on the board. Sometimes the only thing you really need to solve a puzzle is a little creative thinking. Ah, uh, no! Don't die on me, stream, please. Ah, my stream is dying. Uh, my stream is dying, unfortunately. Uh, what do I do? My internet connection is acting up again. I'm gonna have to stop the stream very briefly. I'm gonna try to fix it and be back. 
I'm gonna save the game just in case if uh, just in case I can't make it back afterwards. Uh, put it in my Tom's room, I guess that one. <laughs> 